What's up? This is Dave and Apple just announced a new iPhones. So let's take a look at them and see what's new. What's going on? We're going to talk about the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro. The only difference between now there's four iPhones. There's a 14 Pro, uh, 14, the 14 Plus, the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. The only difference between the bigger sizes is that they're just bigger. There's no like hardware differences, camera differences, etc. So for example, in the iPhone iPhone 14 Pro, the only difference is, is the bigger one is going to have the Pro Max is going to have a bigger display, a higher resolution, which means the picture is going to look better. And it's going to have a bigger battery, more battery life. That's pretty much it. So let's talk about the 14. So the 14, uh, you know, the same sizes as the last time. Long battery life. Now, this is a new feature, SOS. So if you're one of those people that like to put yourself in precarious situations like remote hikes or or strolling in, in sketchy areas and you're in trouble and you have access to the sky, you can... A satellite, you can do an SOS to the satellite and get rescued, probably. Now, let's see what else we have here. Uh, they're claiming it's more durable. They got a super Retina XDR display, which I assume just means it's very good display. I don't know what the heck that does mean. Uh, ceramic shield, so it's tough glass. You're still going to want to get a case on these bad boys that you're dropping at least $700. Uh, let's see here. All right. Oh, it will detect if you're in a crash. You can also shoot out an SC SOS emergency call. If So that's pretty cool. So if you're, if you're texting and driving or you're in precarious situations, this phone's going to perhaps save your ass. They're boasting on the battery life. So as you can see here, the iPhone 14 Plus has a bigger battery. The iPhone 14 has a smaller battery and smaller resolution. Uh, they both sport that Super Retina XDR Magnum uh, cosmic display and uh, OLED technology. That's nice. The camera is their big, the significant upgrade. The 14 has this, the same camera as the 13 Pro. So they moved the 13 Pro camera into the 14. So that's really nice. You can now get that nicer camera at that level here. And so this is the 14, the 14 plus is just going to show you basically just the size differences here, the capacities. Uh, in my opinion, you don't want to do 128 if you're an offline file kind of person, like you take a lot of pictures or you have a lot of your own songs like I do. 128 is garbage. You want to get at least 256. You have the 14 is going to be pre-order now. Eight hundred dollars for fourteen. That's that's surprisingly affordable for Apple. Good job. Uh, so fourteen plus, just with the bigger battery and higher resolution, you can get that for nine hundred dollars. Now, it's, I mean, it's kind of getting into pro territory there. So I don't know how much of a good deal the fourteen plus would be, but it's if you just want the four bigger screen but not the the pro technology, which doesn't make sense. You can also get that for nine hundred dollars. So let's talk about the pro now. So here we go. The pro, as you can see, it has an extra, it has more cameras on there. Uh, magical, blah, blah, blah. They have an innovated uh, four, 48 megapixel camera. It's always innovation with these people. Innovate, innovation, innovative. Like you, you realize Samsung has a 108 megapixel camera and their, their S, their S22 uh, has a 58, 50, whatever megapixel camera but apple you know they copied it so therefore they innovated it uh let's see here you can get uh, now the prices are pretty nice it starts at a thousand dollars which it's like why the heck am i gonna get the the 14 plus when i can just get the pro 14 this has a ceramic um water resistance once again thank you samsung for innovating that water resistance uh now stainless steel it's a big difference between the 14 Pros and the 14 has stainless steel as opposed to that. You know that mediocre aluminum. You know how I feel about aluminum. I don't like aluminum. <laughs> um, people are paying $800 for these. Just put, Everything should be stainless steel, guys. Come on, you're Apple. 
uh, you got this whatever feature here, uh, transform software, hardware kind of stuff, always on display. I wonder where they got that idea from. All right, now, now your phone is bright as the sun. That sounds smart. Uh, you can save your ass again with the SOS uh, via satellite feature here. If you like to put yourself in precarious, dumb situations, you don't like the beaten path, you know, you can, uh, the helicopter is going to rescue you when you're being dumb off the grid for your Instagram reel. Uh, let's see. Uh, also crashing, you know, if you're texting and driving, you're drunk because you're staying out late in precarious situations. Once again, this phone can extend the life of your dumb decisions uh, potentially. Uh, massive more pro. So they got this sensor here. That's a quad pixel sensor. I'm assuming it enhances the aperture of the blah, blah, blah. The picture just going to look very good and you're going to have a big resolution on the picture. I like 48 megapixel. I, I like more megapixels, although te technically it really depends on the other features like aperture. I'm a sucker for big cameras. So if I was in the Apple family right now, I wouldn't even be looking at the 14. I'll give a damn about the 14. I'd go straight for the Pro or the Pro Max, especially since the price is not even like that much different. And then, so they're coming at Google, Google's tag. Hey, we get, we take the best black people and colored people. Nobody can beat us at colored people pictures. Go, but they're saying, hey, look, we got, we are coming for you, Google. Some good, you know, they have the, the, the 4K, res, 4K camera and 30 FPS. Highest quality video in a iPhone, in an iPhone, not a smartphone, uh, but nice try. And then, you know, so whatever. So you basically the main standout features are going to be better camera and a better build on the iPhone Pro. And then, of course, um, more brightness and other minor things that are not important. You can get up to one terabyte here uh, as opposed to just 512. I don't think you should go to one terabyte. That sounds like it's going to be like $2,000, but definitely at least skip out on the 128 gig if possible, unless you're like a, someone who streams or puts your stuff on the cloud all the time. Super Retina XDR Mega Maximum Premium Display. Uh, you know, so the only differences between the two that actually is just going to be the resolution and the battery. So you can pretty much just look at both of those. You know, you got the pro camera system. It's pretty impressive stuff. Uh, best iPhone camera by far. An iPhone has a decent camera. I uh, have to give credit where it's due. Uh, and um, they're going to have some sort of, I heard they have some sort of uh, internal SIM technology. You may not need a uh, SIM card, but don't tech, don't want to quote me on that one yet. And then, you know, they support their basic formats here. Oh, they support FLAC now. Good for them. That was a problem, uh, something I used to hate about them. They also support some more video playbacks. If you have the offline files, once again, if you're, if you stream everything, don't worry about it. I don't, in my opinion, I'm, you know, you're supposed to save this stuff to the end, but the, the 14 Pro is the best one uh, by far. Uh, it's, it's so much better than the 14. Like, just drop the extra one to two hundred dollars and get the 14 Pro. Like, just get this one right here. Like, you don't have to half butt it. You don't have to be picky and choosy. It's really like there's no point of spending eight hundred dollars and getting the 14 and missing out on that amazing camera. And those are their little itty bitty features that make the difference. So that's my first look at these phones. I'm going to do some more comparison videos like these. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Reach 100 subscribers. And I just want to thank you guys for your support. And I'm hoping these videos are helpful. And when you're making decision, purchasing decisions until next time, guys, take care.